Cards by Kay Pletcher. Today's project is Share Sunday, so let me show you what I've been up to. So the first thing I did this week was make some really quick and easy um, Christmas cards for a fellow crafter who is struggling to get her Christmas mojo going. So I said I'd send her a few cards. These I made using die cut books that I bought at Scrapbooking Made Simple when I was lucky enough to visit Los Angeles a couple of years ago. Um, they are so so pretty there's dimension they're not your conventional Christmas card um, and they're just really really cute they don't take a whole lot of thinking about because there was a picture to show you what to do if you didn't want to think too hard or well, you could go off and do your own thing um, so I made those I think this one's actually my favorite I love this blue black background um, and I just love the way the alarm clock stands out. So I did those for a crafty friend. And I'm going to get those in the post really soon for her. And then I needed a card for my husband's friend. Um, he likes Eurovision. So I thought I would use my Paper Craft Society box that was designed by Olga. Um, I'm not sure what number it is I think it was like number seven or eight something like that but it had all these musical notes and these cool papers and this beautiful printed vellum so I've used that on this card and I've kept it nice and flat so that um, it's easy to post and there will actually be a video for this one going up on Tuesday so keep your eyes peeled if you'd like to see how this was created and then I also used this month's um, Paper Craft Society box. So this is the Daisy May box. Everything bar the dots were um, part of the box. And I have just noticed that one of my dots has fallen off because there's another one in the middle. So I'm going to have to go and find that. But um, I love this fake snow see if I can get it to come in to focus it really gives a nice bit of dimension on the card um, and, it, and a little went a long way I don't know if you can see it does stand out it's really really pretty um, I like these wooden hearts as well that were in there I just I liked it all really um, and the beautiful thing about Claire's images are they are so easy to colour so if you're a beginner like me and you're working on your shadings or if you're more advanced, you know, they're perfect for practice. And so with this one, I'm really happy with how the birds come out, the shading on him there. Not so happy with his chest, but I was kind of getting used to the colour pencils. Um, I used the watercolour pencils again. They were in the box um, and this was watercolour card as well. I wasn't sure when I did the unboxing, but having used it, I can see it is fairly happy with the post box I think this piece here I'm not like 100% happy with but I just thought you know if I kept on faffing with it and trying to fix it I thought I was going to ruin it so I just thought you know it's fine put it down walk away um, but fairly happy with how that's come out again this sentiment was in the box it was a plain white one and I've just used festive berries um, distress ink to shade it a different you know more festive color so really happy with that really um, like how it's all come together a bit annoyed that one of the dots has fallen off so I need to find that and stick it back on and then the only other thing I've done is some scrapbooking now I did start scrapbooking last week and I did this last week, but it wasn't all in shot. So I thought I would show it on this week here. So this is a better full shot of like what I put on the page last week. And it's always a speeded up video when I do scrapbooking videos because, you know, there's not much you can really talk about, I don't think. And then this is what I... I've also done this week so still on the baby shower 
she's only like 15 months old you know by the time she's 21 i might have finished all the baby cards um I'm trying to i've got my charger in and it's making it a bit hard to get this in but hopefully you can see all that so i'm fairly happy with how this is coming together i'm using a lot of friend mail um while i'm doing this so like uh caroline sent me those um i've got die cuts in here that steph sent me so this die cut here is one i think that steph sent me um the washi although it's gift of giving collection washi and I've got the collection that was sent to me by Elizabeth Hogarth, who is on the design team for Craft Consortium. So I've put that. So I'm trying to make sure there's special things in here, even if they're not people who I knew when I was pregnant, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm trying to like include loads of my favourite things, like these little pearls here. Uh, Ros sent me, I think, actually. So, you know, I'm trying to make sure i use stuff that i've been sent so that i can look and go oh i know you know so and so sent me this so yeah quite happy with how the scrapbook's coming along this is stuck in on three corners so i can pull it out and read it or philippa can pull it out and read it when she's older but yeah fairly happy with how that's coming along and i will continue to work on that and put up little scrapbooking videos so that's pretty much all i've done this week apart from obviously prepping for the die cut swap um and bits and pieces i've been cutting the price for lorna i need to get that in the post but yeah it's been a fairly productive week got quite a lot done quite happy with what i've done so what is your favorite thing that i've made this week or crafted this week do you like the scrapbook or do you like the die cut cards the daisy may card the olga card let me know in comments which was your favorite um what have you been up to i love to have chats in comments so have a chat let me know what's going on thanks so much for watching i'll be back soon with more videos take care and i'll see you soon bye for now